I sighted the microphone for the green light to the speed trap. Greg Reno and Jody calls them as they seize them, and you better believe them. Here, relevant news, biased opinion, and outright nonsense regarding every aspect of automotive culture. Gas with mechanical trickery never before broadcast over FCC regulated airwaves. Thrill to the explosive tension as Ray and Joe cuss each other down track. Barrel roll across the finish line, laughing at certain disasters as they shake hands. The devil. <laughs> All that and so much more at high noon this Sunday on the Motormouth Radio Hour. Call in and speak live with the wizards of speed and the live eat, Ray Carino and Joe D. Bring the whole family, kids under 12, get in free. Every Sunday at noon on WHBC. Take the Hempstead Turnpike to the Meadowbrook Parkway and look for the no parking on the expressway and no express service on the parkway side. Go right on Highway 24 to Garden City. $2 all-day parking includes pit pass. Might have been a long time since you rock and rolled, but it's high time for Motormouth Radio, Long Island's only automotive radio talk show with your host, Ray Guarino, his co-host, wingman, and exo confidant, Joe D. Yeah. And, and with the us, mighty Led Zeppelin. And the mighty Led Zeppelin. It's been a long time since I, I've, I haven't i have used Zepp and I've waited, so we finally thought we'd break it in. And we have a special guest in the studio with us today, Joe. Yeah. A fellow media uh, personality and a fellow car person. Exactly. You know, Notice I said person. Yes, we that's have a hint, guys. Audra Forden is in with us right Ooh, now. Audra, there. it's a it's a pleasure to have you in. We've kind of heard about you in our circles for a while, and now uh, it, things aligned, the planets aligned, and you, things dropped in, and, and here you are. So it's a pleasure to have you. Thanks so much for having me. That's yeah. so cool. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We, yeah, we, 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 I like Zeppelin too. Yes, definitely. <laughs> I, think I don't find like too much symphonic uh, classical music playing in most shops. So yeah, if you yeah, grew no. up around cars, you know it's mostly rock and roll. Yeah, definitely. I like that. Yeah. So uh, this, yeah. Why don't you? Watch. Is that working? I'm good. Okay, you're, you're good? in. Oh, right, okay. Good. Yeah, I was going to say. Lose got our mic straight. <laughs> you never know around here. Last week we had a little in this mic place, faux pas. Well, yeah. Oh yeah, that was yeah, that was funny. I'm still laughing about the thing. I'm talking into the mic and the the wires dangle. I'm like, oh god, another loose connection even here. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, of course. We wanted you to diagnose it, Joe. You had to. We wanted you to, you to diagnose yeah, it. I love Mr. Fluky in the car. Yeah, I know. It's okay, I know. but uh, yeah. So um, tell us so who, you, Audrey, yeah, tell us tell who us, you are. Tell us about a little bit about you, and we'll we'll fill in from there because we have some info we can uh, read from. But uh, tell us why you're here. Well, I'm here because I like cars too. I grew up around cars, so I'm definitely in my in my space and element. Yeah, you're around a couple of car guys, that's for sure. How cool is that? Well, I grew up around car guys. Yes, that's true. I mean, the, sh- the shop and everything. You right? have a fa- there's a family history, correct? Right. My family started a company called Great Bear. It's an auto repair shop, especially in New York. We should all have heard about it. Oh, yeah. it used to have really great commercials. Mm. You remember that? Back in the day, yeah. Right, that little bear riding down the highway in the dead of the night. (laughs) Yeah, that's... Up ahead, there's a terrible fright. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Hit the brakes in the nettle there. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's taking us way back. That's really good, because I actually was never sober when I watched them, because they were on late at night. Oh, late at night, yeah. (laughs) Oh, there you go. (laughs) But yeah, I remember them coming out. Yeah. Yeah, so when I was a kid, I wanted to, you know, hang out with my dad. Uh-huh. And he was always going to work. So I got lucky. I got to go to work with him. And I started to, you know, cars back in the day were so much easier to work on because they were more like a mechanical. Say it, sister. Not as, not as electronic. Yep. So, oh, yeah. so it, was, it was a good time for me. I was good at working on them. I enjoyed the space. And I was very comfortable in, in my home at, at the shop. So sure. That's great. Yeah, That's yeah. Great. yeah, yeah. Family there. You know, that, that's Cool. So when when exactly did you start? Uh, how long ago? Oh, well, no. You know what? Let's not go yeah, there. Yeah, we should go there. No. Okay, okay. Come on. Fill it in, Joe. No, I mean, well, how, little... no, well, no, I mean, how long have you been at the shop? I mean, since the yeah, 90s? So the... I'm there since the, the late 70s. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, so that, that would explain why. I actually remember her because when I was a parts driver for Bay Chevrolet, I uh, I used to go, I used to deliver parts to her shop, her dad's shop, or whatever we want uh-huh, to call it. Uh-huh. Yep. And as a matter of fact, when we were uh, 
we were just uh, talking before we got on the air. You remembered the phone number of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of my dealership. Right. I was like, whoa. This one, th- th- this one's, this one's a sharpie. We got to watch out. This one, <laughs> uh, right? So, so there, there you go. Yeah, yeah. So, I, you've been around it all. You've been around it all your life, basically. So, yes, cool. I have, and then um, here I am today, hanging with you guys. How cool is that? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. That's that's what we do. We always celebrate people in the car community, whether it be someone in you know the clubs, uh, or the people, somebody who maybe is significant in hobby restorations or. You know, repair and then you know. Yeah, if it's got a motor yeah. in it, yeah, we'll talk about it. Yeah. We like it. Yeah, that's uh, sure. And uh, you've also been involved in some uh, media type stuff too, no? I have. I'm doing uh, a lot of community outreach, mm-hmm. focusing on women mm-hmm. and really all drivers. Because back in the day when cars were easy to work on, a lot of people knew how to work on them, and our brothers and cousins and uncles and everybody right. knew about a car. Right, right. But today we're kind of um, phasing that out. We, we rely on Google, oh, yeah. yes, a little oh. bit too much. Yeah, YouTube certified mechanics. We're also yeah. the, we're the, also going to rely the flashy on, thing. on this flashy thing, which means we have a call, and we'll go to it and say, "Hi, you're on with the Motor Mouths." Hello. Hello, Cole. You're on with the Motor Mouths. Hello, gentlemen. How you doing? Hey, morning? Christian. How are you? Good. Christian, uh, what's uh, up? Nothing much. You just got me thinking. Great Bear. Great Bear. I remember there was an auto parts store in uh, Elmont back in the day. Mm-hmm. And it was, a, it was family owned. And the gentleman's daughter used to run the counter. So impressed with her. And I was only a little kid. And I remember, like, my father and his friend were working, we were working on a 50 Olds with a 303 in it. And they had to get some stuff, and they went in, and, and she was working. Uh, yeah, we got to, you know, need points and stuff like that for a 303. She knew exactly what points, everything. She I mean, she was so knowledgeable, and it was so cool. And I remember, as a little kid, I used to like, wow, she's really cool, you know, working behind a counter in an auto parts store. Yeah. Yeah, was that GB500? Oh, yeah, GB500, right? I remember that. Right. Well, that was for Great Bear, so it was Great Bear's okay. parts store. Right, right, right. Okay. So it was Good. a parts store. Mm-hmm. So it couldn't have been you, though. Well, there, there's, there was a parts store and the repair shops. And where was it located? Well, well there were 70, I think 73 stores holy cow, New York. at the height of the franchise. Yeah, the repair oh, shops were everywhere, sure. Right. It's funny because he got me thinking, he said Great Bear, and all I could think in my head was the old oil company that used to have the... The German Shepherd on the roof of the vans. Remember those days? German Shepherd. That sounds Sloan's? vaguely familiar. No, I don't think that you was. Remember Sloan. the oil company for oil burner service? And they used to have, like, the, you know, the mascot was like, you know, yeah. you great. Yeah, I'm thinking of the dog. You said the dog on the roof of the vans, and it would light up, and they would be all over the place. Yeah. I can't remember the name that's of it. Someone oldie. out there will. Yeah, that's an oldie. Um, well, I'm not that old. I used no. to see it when I was a kid. Come on. True, <laughs> true, true, true. Give, true, true. Guys, give you guys some, some credit over here. Yes. <laughs> you get a lot of credit. Yeah. These guys beat themselves up, you know? Come on. <laughs> um, but um, so, it, really quick, I just I just wanted to make this quick. One of my friends um, saw an ad for Mobile Oil, and he asked me to call in about this subject real quick, and I'll get off so other people can call and maybe touch on this a little bit. Supposedly Mobile One's got an advertisement on TV. Um, oil changes going more than 10,000. I saw the oil in the mm-hmm. store the other day, Mobile uh, One, and it says uh, guaranteed good for one year on the on the uh, jug of oil. Yeah. Oh, okay. Good for one year or how many miles? I don't know if they specified the miles on the container. I didn't look at because I'd seen the commercial and then I recognized that that's what I was seeing when I was in the store buying oil for my Fiat. Yeah. In fact, I told my uh, you know my buddy down at the shop that I had to get twenty fifty oil. He's like, "What? They still they make that that mm-hmm. weight?" I'm like, "Yeah, they do." Yeah, <laughs> called, for an older car. It's called yeah. molasses. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I got the little one. Oh, hey, say hello to everybody on the radio. Say hi, Ray. Go ahead, say hi, Ray. Come on, you can do it. Make it quick. You're live on the air. She's shy. I'm trying to get her. <laughs> What's her name? It's super shy. It's Ava. Hi, Ava. Hi, Ava. Ava, oh, Ava is man, shy. She's got, She's real. She's busy right now doing a thing, but. Uh. Um, yeah, I just wanted to touch on that real quick. Um, yeah, Jim thinks it was wolf's head oil, by the way. What's that? For, uh, the, the, for the oil with the German Shepherd? Maybe it wasn't a German Shepherd. Maybe it was a wolf. No, wolf's green head. and white. The, the vans were green and white. They were everywhere. He's okay. talking about oil. Christian's talking about oil burner service. Oh, oil burner, okay, oil okay, burner yeah, service. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. I'm, just, That's I'm right. just thinking of like the old 70s type of mascot advertising. Right, yeah. like you say great bear. I'm thinking a bear up. You know, like when you go and you see the lumberjack up in upstate there, whatever, that's that place. You that get the you get Grateful like Dead way. and you get the Dancing Bear. You know, there's right. all sorts of bears. Huh? <laughs> yeah, lots of good bears. Yeah, definitely. I, I, go, I go on Keep my smiling. tangents, but 
this this whole thing with the oil thing just came up the other day, so I'll, I'll get yeah. going if anyone else has got any input on that. Me, I'm more of a seasonal guy. I'm more like a winter oil change, summer oil change guy right, or right. something, you know? Yeah. Usually go 3,500 miles the most. Okay. Yeah. 10,000 miles in a year? Yeah. Is average for a car. You yeah. think it's good to go 10, I mean, some oils advertise 7,500. Well, a lot of They're manufacturers talking, recommend 7,500 yeah, or, or they more. now have the, the light. Right. The light or the oil life well, index. Well, I've been following the oil life monitor on my wife's cruise, and mm-hmm. like now I'm getting it's getting down to 16%, and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do it. It's like, yeah, for sure. I don't want to go past that. Well, you know what it is? There's some people actually, not that they shouldn't, should not believe it, but like some schnook's going to wait two years to get the oil change, waiting for that light to pop on. Right, right. <sighs> no, nope, so not that happening. Works, that works like the lubricheck then, the light. Yes. Ah, yes. so it's picking up on contaminants because that was the big thing. It's not so much the oil. It, it, we, yeah, I think it it's triggered by mileage. Well, actually, it's a con- it's a it's a combination of mileage. I know the early ones were cold mileage. starts. Yeah. Uh, RPM, idling times. In other words, the ECM is looking at all this. I mean, this is what General Motors does. They look at uh, a variety of things that, you know, oh, I mean, oh yeah, the fact that you overheated the thing to 300 degrees, yeah, yeah. we're going to move that up a few percent, you know. Right. But it actually uh, it actually calculates the oil life. Yeah, the rubric so got a lot more cars there. advanced as mm-hmm. the cars got newer. But sure. I would not wow. want to leave my, nobody look at my car for a year. No. <laughs> my, dad, my dad had a car on the lift. Back in the day, it must have had 60,000 miles on it. Never had an oil change. I remember that day. <laughs> and my dad pulled the drain plug out, and no oil came out. So my dad took, my dad reached up, and he unscrewed the antenna off the front fender, and he started sticking the antenna mm. up through the, through the oil plug hole, and clumps were coming out, and then the oil started yeah. coming out. There's, like not, there's certain <laughs> things that are not supposed to have warmps, and oil changes are one of them. Yeah. <sighs> I just think of, you know, one year and contaminants. It's it's just, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Too much. Absolutely. Well, thanks, Christian. Hey. Good point. Always good. All right. And uh, watch out for those guys there. They, they, uh, they're animals. You got it. You, you motor mouth guys. You know? <laughs> awesome. I can't even All make right. any growling noise. Studio, <laughs> Thanks, Christian. We'll talk to you soon, brother. Thanks. See you later. All right. Man. So long. Yep. And like Christian, if you want to get a hold of us, give us a call at 516-572-7440. Or follow us. Uh, go to MotormouthRadio.com. Yeah. On Twitter, we're Motormouth. Click thing there, yeah. Yeah, Twitter is Motormouth Radio. And Instagram, which has been a little lax lately, is real underscore Motormouth Radio. And... And, uh, on the score. I can't even find that on my phone. That's because someone score. else, there was another yeah, Motormouth uh, radio, and yeah. somebody else wants we'll flash to it, it again. I think, before the break. All right, we'll see if we can do this. We'll say, hi, you're on with the Motormouths. Good morning, Ray. Good morning, Joe. And guest. How are you doing today? Uh, thanks hey, for including me. Hello. Brock, how you doing? We, we got you on a quick leash here because we're coming up to a break, so speak. Okay, I'm going to go fast anyway. A real fast story. You mentioned Wolf's Head Oil. It brought me back when I started working at a gas station. Wolf's Head used to come in a glass bottle with a metal spout. It was recycled oil. Right. And then that's what people would have the option of buying a new can or a bottle of recycling. I think back then it was about 20 or 25 cents a quart, and you would put it in the car yourself. Among changing, uh, what else, uh, tire pressure, clean the windshield, wipe the headlights, and that kind of thing, the old uh, right. service station uh, repairs. That Remember was, those days? That was the, service, yeah. That was service. Right? I, I couldn't see too much of that from the from from the bassinet in the back seat back then. So like, no. Okay, so. Oh, you were a twinkle in daddy's eye back then. So. Nah. Oh, you had a bassinet. I was laying on the rear the rear uh, package shelf. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Still waiting, I was huh? I was one of the uh, one of the veins in the bloodshot eyes. Man. Not you even go. a twinkle. No, are you kidding me? Good that, stuff. That was something. And I'll give you one more fast story, and I'm going to run. Okay. Was that you talk about females in the automotive industry? And when I started teaching in 1970, it was unheard of of a boy taking home economics and a lady mm-hmm. taking auto shop. Why so we had this one girl named was Sharon, mm-hmm. and I think she kind of broke the ice in Long Beach because she wanted to take auto shop. It was 1972 then, you know, because her friends, the group they hung out with, all the boys were taking auto shop. And the guidance counselor says, no, 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 you're a girl. You can't take auto shop. Girls belong in home economics, that kind of mentality. So her father came in. Went to the principal, made a big deal, and she was the first one to get into the auto shop and open that door for ladies to take uh-huh. repair courses. And Good I think it's great and wonderful, and more women should be in the business. Excellent. Right well on. spoken, Bronk. Well said. Thank you for that. Thanks, Bronk. Well, I'm going to run. i got to go to a christening. Okay, so Bronk. Have a great week. I just wanted to touch base, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay, Bronk. Right, thanks. Take care. Sunday. All Take right. care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So long. All right. With that, we Bronk will go. Bronk can run. He's well. He's going to hobble. I think. Yeah, I think more like yeah. We we will go to our first break now, and we'll uh, then we'll reset. We'll come back with more Motormouth Radio, and keep it where you've got it, please. <laughs> <laughs> 